I'm going to talk about planning for the new year on this video. Are you ready? Let's go! Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name is Dean Ueda and I'm a real estate investor and realtor in Honolulu, Hawaii. Today, my wonderful backdrop is the luxurious Ritz-Carlton residences in Waikiki. I am in a gorgeous, fully furnished studio in the Eva Tower, so let me know if you want any details on this lovely listing. As the song goes, it's the most wonderful time of the year. The holiday season brings a lot of feelings, energy, activities, and overall busyness. It's so easy to get caught up in all the hustle and bustle. I wanted this video to be a step back for you and for you to consider five activities that are sometimes overlooked in spite of their importance. Watch until the end for the most important year-end planning activity to do. And if you're enjoying this content so far, I'd appreciate it if you'd click on the like button, the subscribe, and the bell buttons down below to get reminders of my weekly videos that I release on Mondays. So the first often overlooked year-end planning activity is taxes. Taxes are often always overlooked until the next year when the deadlines are fast approaching. However, you should be thinking about tax planning way before year end. It is still not too late to reach out to your CPA to do some year end tax planning and strategy. With the current transition of administration, there may be even more things for you to consider between this year and next year. If you're looking for a CPA, now is the time to lock one in. Contrary to people's tendencies, the March-April timeframe is the worst time to start calling around and some CPAs don't accept new clients for the current year that late in the game. For business owners, now is a great time to look at your financial situation and see if there are any items you need to purchase in the current year so you can get the tax benefit sooner rather than later. For me, I consulted with my CPA on the potential of purchasing a new vehicle at the end of the year. We talked through the alternatives and I was able to make an educated decision to buy or wait on the vehicle purchase. I ended up deciding to wait. One thing that my tax accountant reminds me is to don't let the tax tail wag the dog. The second planning activity I want to mention is estate planning. This is not necessarily a year-end planning activity, but one I always like to mention. I'll save the details for another time, but look into getting a trust, especially if you have children. Working with a good trust attorney, you'll be surprised at the things the trust can do. If you already have a trust and haven't revisited it in the last three to five years, consider reviewing it with your attorney. It's probably due for an update. The third activity is review your personal balance sheet. Let's start with the assets. Do you have a stock portfolio or a 401k plan? As some stocks or mutual funds outperform others, your portfolio may get out of balance in terms of your risk appetite. Also, as you get older and closer to retirement, your risk tolerances change. So rebalancing is necessary to reduce that risk. If your investments are professionally managed, reach out to your financial advisor for a year-end discussion. This may also include some tax planning too. The fourth year-end planning activity is consider debt consolidation. I like to call this maximizing your working capital. Right now, we are seeing record low interest rates. Consider refinancing your debt either to reduce your interest rate or maximize the, the use of your built-up equity. Another alternative is recasting your loan. Look in the comments below on my video on recasting your mortgage. Analyze your current financial situation and new earning power. Maybe you received raises during the year and make more money now. Cash building up in your checking account can be put to better use paying down debt or invested rather than sitting in the bank. The fifth year-end planning activity and the one I think is the most important for of all of these is, wait for it, to have gratitude. For some, this was really a tough year. No matter how things are going though, there are always things we can be grateful for. The roof over our heads, food on the table, our health, great family and friends. So this morning I woke up and before reaching for my cell phone to read emails, which a lot of people are guilty of, I sat in bed and I tried to find my gratitude. I was really tired, so it was kind of challenging. Then I focused on why I was tired and found my answer. 
I was grateful for having a lot of family activities and work to keep me busy the day before. See, in all the craziness, we often forget to be grateful for what we have, and it does take effort to find gratitude, but it's so important that we go through that drill regularly. So those are the five year-end planning activities for you to think about. Thanks for watching, and in the words of the rapper Lil Wayne, the more time you spend contemplating what you should have done, you lose valuable time planning what you can and will do. I'll see you next week.